All right, so this uh, Foundation Fundamentals talk is about the technical elections, specifically the PTL and the TC elections. I am Kendall Nelson. I am one of the election officials for the last three years, three releases. Yeah, and I'm Jeremy Stanley. I've, I've written some of the election tooling we're using, and I've been an election official off and on when I'm not also standing for election in some uh, election, so. Yeah, so diving in. The, the timelines for the two different elections are subtly different. So PTL elections have like three main um, dates. There's the like nomination period in which if you are interested in running, you nominate yourself or are nominated by someone. Um, there's the email deadline, which is really important for voters that they get their emails um, matched up or at least a common email address between their individual foundation member profile and their Garrett emails so that we can generate the electorate and get that all squared away before the voting period starts. Pretty self-explanatory, that's when you get your ballot and are able to vote if there is more than one candidate for the project that you are voting for. We will generate the poll and get that to you. Yep, if there is only one candidate, then we consider the election to be acclaimed and there's no need to run a poll. Exactly. And TC elections add one other period into them. Um, in between the nomination period and the voting period, we have this campaign period in which um, anyone in the community or even people that are running ask questions of the other candidates uh, to get to know their like platforms better, find out where they stand on issues. Um, historically, we have run this as like a separate period in between nomination and voting. We've had a few discussions about maybe overlapping a little bit more to get more engagement because at this point we've seen that the people kind of are slow to get rolling. So starting it earlier might be better so that the conversations can happen before voting does and not bleed into the, the voting period as much. So. Uh, we <laughs> actually have to generate an electorate a, a set of uh, roles for the voters who are going to receive ballots for a given election. Um, there is uh, a script that contains most of that logic uh, automated in our OpenStack elections repository uh, called owners.py. Um, it basically checks via queries to both our code review system and our uh, foundation member database um, to make sure that everyone who's included in the role and, and who receives a ballot is uh, a committer in one of the last two releases to the, and when we say committer, is someone who is technically the owner of a change in the Garrett code review system that has merged between the release date of three releases back and one release back. So a, a range of, of two release cycles, we say. Um, we make sure that they have a foundation individual membership that's active uh, so that they meet the legal obligation that we set for, uh, for the electorate. And uh, we, the way that we can do this is because we have the ability to query the foundation member system based on email address, but we only know the email addresses that they use in the code review system, Garrett, so they need to have at least one of their email addresses in the foundation member system match an email address they're using in Garrett. We use that to be able to tie the two together to confirm that this particular change owner uh, is also this other foundation member and that they, they're one and the same person. Um, we, uh, we, we set the deadline uh, that she mentioned earlier for updating Garrett email address and also for updating your foundation member profile so that there's an address in common. Um, we, we, we publish that as part of the election schedule ahead of time so that you can see when you're, uh, when you're looking at upcoming events that you know you need to make sure that if you've changed email addresses or whatever that you've updated both of those systems um, before it comes time for us to generate the roles. We really appreciate when you actually get that done before the deadline because generating the uh, roles in the past has not been the most fun task. Yeah. <laughs> um, so if you are interested in running, this is about submitting your candidacy. So. In the past, we had it where the file name of the like nomination had to be your IRC nickname, um, but we have moved now to updating our scripts 
to support it being your email address. It doesn't need to end in .rst anymore. Um, and you must be an individual foundation member as well. Um, if you are running for PTL instead of just TC, in addition to being individual foundation member and having your the file and your nomination change correct, um, you also must be the owner of a commit that's been merged into that project. You can't just say, I want to be PTL of this project I've never touched before, because that doesn't make any sense. It, and it's worth noting that the move to using the email address as the identifier in the change is that this allows, in some extreme circumstances, someone else to submit a nomination for you by proxy. Um, we previously tied the uh, identification of the candidate to the account that had uploaded the candidacy, which we recognize in some scenarios uh, may need uh, assistance from another person to upload a candidacy. Mm -hmm. So, kind of the yeah. fundamentals of ranked voting. Yeah, um, so there's often confusion uh, amongst our uh, electorate if they have either no experience in, um, in voting for anything, but also experience in other more common voting systems, uh, particularly single voter voting systems, uh, or I should say sing single ballot voting systems, um, single vote voting systems, uh, also uh, proportional voting, which we do for foundation board elections, is actually not the way that, uh, that we vote for technical elections. Um, so ranked voting, uh, basically the idea is that you have a number of possible candidates and you are expressing your preference, your preferential order for those candidates. Um, this actually allows for identifying a more consensual choice amongst the electorate whereas uh, things like uh, single vote systems or proportional voting tend to have the ability to skew or um, you, you find that uh, particularly in a proportional voting system, you, your vote really only counts if you use all of your possible votes for a single candidate. Um, key points with ranked voting in particular, make sure that you, uh, that you note the lowest number is the most preferential rank, so rank one would be your preferred, your preferred uh, candidate, rank two would be your next preferred candidate, and so on. Um, it's not like you're setting a number of points that you want to assign to each candidate. Um, yeah, cool. And uh, do you wanna, well, yeah. obviously voting is really important. Um, you have like a, a direct influence on the results, so your engagement is, is really valuable. Um, these elected leaders should represent your interests. You shouldn't be voting based on like, I don't know, they're my friend. <laughs> um, but yeah, voting is important. We really um, would like to build out the pickup of ballots and we keep track of those statistics from release to release. So it's interesting to see the changes and Please vote in your next election. Yeah, this is the way that you help shape the community. Mm -hmm. Vote in elections, run in elections. Yes. All right. Well, and thank you. Thank you. Are there any questions? From the massive audience we have. Yeah. <laughs> for it. Do you want um, to so, so, yeah, the question? The, the, yeah, the question was um, there are multiple candidates and you pick rank two for all of the candidates except the one that you want to win. Uh, in, in that case, um, it's, uh, you've, you've basically expressed that you have a preferred candidate and that you don't really care um, which of the other candidates should be in office if that first candidate does not get consensus. Um, Oh yeah, if, if, you, if you weight all of the available candidates at the same rank, then your vote is effectively ignored. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't really have any influence whatsoever on the, on the election at that point. Because they all balance each other out. Yeah. You've basically expressed that you don't care which of the candidates wins, you have an even preference for all of them in that case. You may want the... No. Right. Yeah. No problem. Thank you. Any other questions? 